I should probably actually clean the lens. Ugh. Hey guys, I'm Kat. Um, you guys have been asking me for a few months now if um, I could please do a studio tour of my new studio and my new house. So it's mostly, mostly finished now. So why not do it now? Let's go. Welcome to my studio. Uh, as you can see, um, there's a whole lot of canvases lying around at the moment that are huge and there's literally no space for them. So they're just everywhere that they can fit. See, there's one hiding behind the door here as well. Let's start from the top here. Here is my Evil Dead section. Um, that foam chainsaw, Pete managed to score for me at PAX. Thank you so much, Pete. That there was my easel that I used for live painting at conventions. And these are prints and commissions that need to be posted off. And artwork I never got around to showing you guys. Whoops. And this is a Sailor Moon painting that I started at Armageddon 2014. Um, I never finished it, and it's on real pages of the German manga. Uh, over here is the Crimson Peak picture you might have seen me paint live on Twitch, and a bunch of the Inktobers. I really need to get around to putting them up on the uh, website for sale. And hanging off my bookcase here is my veil for my wedding next year. Um, it's in here because it smells like paint after I painted my mum's veil uh, to suit uh, the colour of my dress and the fact that I actually want like, you know, colours in my wedding. I'm not a big fan of things being all white. Uh, next is the bookcase. Um, I'll show you what's actually on it. Up in the corner here is just all stuff I've been published in. Um, there's a bit missing. It's all in moving boxes somewhere. These are some Doctor Who comics and Foot Rock Flats comics, which is a New Zealand comic I collected religiously as a child. Next shelf, we've got illustration books. Um, there's some Tenko there as well. Um, the illustration books, the Japanese writing at the bottom, I love. They're my favourites. Um, there's also stuff by some convention friends of mine, like uh, Martin Abel and Loopy Dave. They're amazing. Check them out. And these are anime, manga, and gaming art books. On the last shelf, we've got lots of movie books. There's heaps of what a workshop. There's also Tolkien. Um, there's a whole lot of Terry Pratchett, Magic Pudding. There's even stuff like Dali and Norman Lindsay. I should talk about my art table, actually. Um, this is what I do live streaming with. Um, it rolls out in front of my computer, and it actually is on a system where it can go from flat to 45 degrees. It's amazing. It's also magnetic to hold the artwork up. Up here is my inspiration wall, full of artists that inspire me. Um, I'll put a big list down the bottom of uh, names and links and stuff. Um, there's just too many of them to mention in the video now, but they're all amazing. Oh, I forgot to show you what's hiding behind the table. This is all the stuff I've done so far for the Not So Secret Kids book. Okay, down here is my artist drawers with all my stuff in it. This is what I take to conventions when I do live painting. On top here is my business address book, so it's got lots of publishers and other illustrators and just all the amazing people that have helped get my work out there over the years. In the first drawer here we've got um, pens and, and brushes, second drawer is paints and inks in here in this bag, and the bottom drawer has things like tape, powder graphite, spray bottles for texturing, palettes, water jars, mediums, just random stuff. Up here on my computer desk is my ball jointed doll, which I use for reference sometimes. Um, some stuff I've been reading there, say la vie. Um, over here, uh, what I've been working on for the coloring book that I'm doing for you guys. So I'm really excited to get lots of those done. Hopefully you like them. And hiding under that is my Wacom tablet, my 13 HD Wacom Cintiq. And up here is my guilt trip, you should be drawing for when I'm just sitting and staring blankly being exhausted. Over here are my jars on shelves. Um, top shelf is all pencils and the bottom shelf are all my markers, which aren't actually all my markers because they're still in moving boxes. And down here is my pride and joy for the year um, when my friend Beck and I met Bruce Campbell. And down here is all the mending that I'm supposed to be doing during the holidays and this external has all my Living Dead clothing work on it. So all of their flat lays with artwork I put on them. And hiding down here is boring business records and invoices and stuff. These are my gaming headphones, which I don't get to use nearly as much as I would like to. And up here is my sewing machine and my overlocker and a totally random birdcage. I don't know why I put that there. Um, but if you've ever bought a felty from me, a felt doll, um, this is where they're born. 
Here are some more giant canvases getting in the way. Um, hiding behind them is a bunch of my mannequins. Uh, the red one's what I use for cosplay when I actually do it, which I have no time for anymore. I'll show you what these canvases are. Uh, there's three of them here, which I'm really, really happy with. Hiding behind them is all of my convention stuff. The bean bag, which if you've ever been exhausted near my table, you would have had a nap on. And suitcases and stuff behind it have all the other stuff in it that I take to conventions. Over here is the dog couch where the dogs sleep. Um, this is Loki and Tuppence. And above them is all of my movie posters and stuff that used to be my bedroom that no longer have a space in a bedroom. Over here on the cupboard door is my commissions calendar. Um, so if you've got a commission from me in December or January coming up, one of those little tags is you. And in the cupboard is lots of stuff. Also clothing, because I don't have space for it anywhere else. I have too many clothes. Um, so folios, sketchbooks, more sketchbooks. Um, down here are all the papers that I use to print on. Um, they go from thicker to thinner, all the way up here. These are really thin and crap. Um, and these are my parchment papers. So if you ever get an original from me, you'll be getting a certificate printed on those. And this is my heat gun for when I use Wobbler. This is my airbrush. As you can see here, I love my airbrush. Uh, this is my laminator, which I use for convention stuff. My tripod for my over shoulder cam during live streams. Um, a hairdryer because I hate waiting for paint to dry, and some laptops that I don't even use anymore. Down here is my light table, and this is a cutting mat, which is super useful. Um, a 3D doodler, which I got for Christmas one year, which I'm very, very bad at. Um, some pencil boxes and more pencils. These are pastel pencils. Don't I love them, but I don't use them much anymore, unfortunately. And down here are all my prints. So when they're not at a convention, this is where they live. If you order them from me, they come from here. Lots and lots and lots. Down here, moving boxes. Don't remember what's in them. And this is my overhead projector. Cost me a whole 10 bucks. They're actually really hard to get a hold of now and they're super useful for if you want to make something really, really big on canvas. And the drawers. This top drawer has all sorts of papers in them. Um, so it's got field pads and brown paper and amazing watercolor paper. There's more field pad hiding down here. And there's more watercolor paper hiding behind the dog couch because it's too big to fit in the drawers. Um, the second drawer has got all of my um, pattern papers for uh, any of the pattern paperwork I do. Um, there's actually some plastic stuff in here that I haven't scanned in yet that I'm going to use. Some more, more papers hiding under here. All sorts. And then on top here, these are all stencils that I use. Um, you would have seen me use the top one on the uh, Crimson Peak work. Um, they're really useful. You use the airbrush with those. They're great. And the bottom drawers, they've just got stuff in it like house stuff that needs to get moved. That's pretty much it. This is my studio. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed my studio tour. Um, it's not that big really. <laughs> um, if you liked this video or you like watching videos like art start to finish, um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're interested in finding my art elsewhere on the internet, there's links down below. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Tumblr. Um, there's my website as well, which has all that information on it. Um, and if you saw anything in the video that you wanted to know more about that I might have skipped over, ask in the comments below. Um, and if you think there's something that's missing in my studio that I must have, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, have a great day guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!